Hello everyone, I am Sohra from AgriMistaf and today I want to show you how you can add data to data grid view programmatically. And I have a WinForm application uh, and in main, main form I have a data grid view with three columns. Um, the columns uh, is uh, uh, text column, checkbox column and combo box column. If you want to fill the data grid view with an array, you can watch uh, another video in uh, on our channel. Um, but now I want to delete the, these uh, uh, columns and add the columns again to uh, show to you better process. And now I want to I want to delete the I want to delete the all columns and add the column again. The first column is text box column. I will add it. The second one is check box column, check box. And the third one is combo box column. And I added these columns. So now I want to fill the data grid view uh, on the click event. Um, firstly, I should um, define a for loop uh, with the number of rows that I want to add. Uh, in this example, I want to add five row in these three columns. So, I defined a for loop with i and now I should get the roof of the data grid view by this line. Now I should uh, fill the first column of roof, first cell or first column of roof, oh, excuse me, cells zero is the first column is text box column so I should fill fill it with value and I will define a sample text with uh, with for loop mm. I will plus I with one then I will change it to a string and plus to ID. The first column is filling with this code. Now I should uh, fill the second column. The second column is bool, is true false. Mm, now I define a variable and fill it with false. And if the mode of the i with two is zero, the value of c is true. And after that, I should fill the second column with c variable, with true-false variable. This is for one roof and three columns and the roof is in, this is the second column. The first column if is text box column. The second is, the second, and the third one is combo box. Now I should fill the combo box with items. I should uh, add a combo box in each roof and fill the combo box with items so i should define a for loop uh, this is sample data so i should uh, i want to define the number of items with three for example you can change it to any number and i should write this line this line, this is for 
fill the items of combo box now the roof is complete I should add the roof to data grid view roofs oh, I will okay add and I will write the num num of roof name of roof okay the code is complete and this is simple if you want to fill the data grid view with, that, with an array you can watch another video but now I want to start it and check the result I will click on fill and all the data is here this is the text column and this is the combo box it's sample data I should check another one the, and this is the checkbox column true false true false true okay thank you for watching this video please like the video and subscribe the channel to get more video while see bye